Hello everyone, uh, today we'll solve this problem find all numbers disappeared in an array from lead code. In this problem, we are given an array of size n and uh, the array elements are integers starting from 1 to n. Uh, but the thing is that there are some duplicate elements in the array. So we'll be missing some exact in integers that lie in the range from 1 to n. And uh, we need to find those integers that are missing in the or uh, in that given range. So we need to do this in of n time and without extra space. So the approach we'll be using is that uh, we'll, uh, we'll have two traversals uh, with the array and during the first traversal uh, we'll use each element in the array as an index so that's going to point us to another element in the array and we'll make that element uh, negative so that uh, during the second iteration uh, when we are traversing through the array uh, if we note a positive number that means that that specific index was not uh, was not reached out to us by you know the first iteration so we can be sure that that specific index or or the number which represents that specific index is not present in the array so that's the approach and uh, let's start with the code let's start with the first for loop and uh, now we need to you know use this uh, specific uh, number at uh, which we are currently in the array as an index for the for us to get another element in the array that's that uh, which we are going to make us negative which we are going to make it negative and uh, if in case we had already we had we are already on a element which is negative we don't want to go on to a negative index which doesn't exist so we'll get the absolute value of that uh, uh, current number and now we'll check if the current number is already negative in that case we will not do anything to that element if not we will make it negative and, uh, do know that I am incrementing the iterator variable by 1 uh, since that since uh, we reduce that uh, variable or uh, that element by 1 uh, for indexing purposes and finally we can simply return the resulting array Okay, yeah, so that was for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.